Hi and welcome to Point of Sales developed in Excel with VBA. This tutorial is actually on YouTube, however, a comment was received asking us to actually add a device that we can use to remove any unwanted item. So I've incorporated into the system this button that removes whatever item that is not wanted by the customer so let's assume we want the cake gone select the cake all you just need to do is click on remove there okay and if you want to replace it with another item there we go just recalculate because there's a cash the method of payment is cash okay and uh, like I said, this is actually a request from one of the viewers out there. So I'm going to show you guys his uh, comment and we'll take it from there. And right there, that's his comment. I've received three comments for, from him. Um, here, this is the last one. Please help us with this how to remove a wrong item or select it from list or to undo there okay and the same thing here please help us with this how to remove wrong item or to undo I've covered his name blank out his name I took off his pictures and so on as you can see he is a subscriber there so let's minimize this or just close it we don't need that anymore there now I'm going to open up a new one then we put one of these together and I'll show you how I've uh, put together some lines of code to get this selection working either way okay and you just click on what you don't want get it removed okay then we, we take it from there so let's do that okay guys this is another one of that particular point of sale that I showed you guys earlier as you can see we can do whatever we want to do with this as well and just there we go and um, let's say cash and all right and just click on that but in this case we cannot delete anything you see I have to double click on here and click on here to select either one so I cannot remove any of the item that I don't need and that was the problem that he pointed out so let's come in here now i'm going to double click on this very list box here look at it the name is lst item double click on that one first there and i'm going to declare a variable in there this very variable i'll call it select or just Okay, that's fine. Sell. Select. Yeah, okay, that's that's all right. Just press enter. And let's use a for loop in this case for select. I'm going to say equals load band. And that is going to be for my LST display. Display dot the list there and to u band and that is going to be lsd display as well grab that paste that in here i will then use e statement or before then let me just say next cell now let's use an if statement here if me dot this very item here let's the item dot select or dot selected if it's this cell then that is true then in that case I want B dot 
select this okay we can grab all of these anyway and just change it around equals true come right down there paste that here and this will be display grab that and paste it here there all right so what i want is if i click on this this very list box i want to be able to select the other list box okay based on their index all right so this the first one is taken care of now so let's copy this and we just need to change it around for the second list box as well and just before we go to the second list box watch out here I was meant to enter and if and if they okay now let's copy that okay uh, let's go to the second one and that's it double click on that and just paste that in there now for the second one I'm going to change this to LST item this is LST item LST item here as well and here as well there and this will be display okay grab that and just change this to display there we go right all right that is done but just one thing let me point this out you see if you are wondering about the l band and the u band the l band is actually known as a low band and this is the up band this function is um, is actually a vba function all right and you can use it to define the length of an array in a code okay if you want to know more about it just type in low band or u band now that is taken care of good so the next thing we want to do now is let's go into the design because we can't do much with this but let's run it we should be able to use that just to select anyway before we can do any other thing there we go we can now select okay either side all right that's fine so now let's create a button here and we should be able to carry out the the operation as required or as suggested so i'm going to copy this very button so let's minimize this one here yeah, about that and hold on to my control and just drag there we go just drag this that's this much and now let's change the name of these to remove something like that remove item if the, i doubt there's not going to be enough room for that remove if we say item now get rid of the item let's make it remove and here i'm going to change the name of these to cmd remove item okay, that's the name of that so now let's double click on this very button now the remove item button and and i'm going to use an if statement again here okay let's say if list display which is the this one of the display that i have in there dot list index and that is if is greater than and equals to zero then we want the display lst display to remove the item dot remove item and the item that i want you to dis to remove is the lst display dot list index 
that is all there is to that let's see and if that is it done however because i have two of those okay one is called lst display the other one is called lst item just going to copy this that is the easiest way that i figure out copy this and just change this to item and the other ones are item as well there be the same thing here there we go and that's all the rest of it but there's one more thing i'm going to have to call my function let's highlight this go right up here you see this very function that is the function that i use for the calculation okay the function and the function here this there are two functions this is for change to give you change and this is the function that carries out all the calculation and this function is if you select cash this is where the calculation takes place for that apart from that that's just buttons all these are for buttons button two three four five six seven eight nine okay and the buttons the item that we are selling there they are okay let's clear the button this is the item and the price of the button if you guys want to see the full tutorial it's already on youtube okay, and now we include the link to the full tutorial there we go look at it this is just to show you how to remove unwanted item those are the lines of codes that are used follow the full tutorial to gain a full a better understanding of what's happening there we go guys right and right underneath here i'm just gonna call my function call cost and right underneath that is the reset button but then display those are the two display I took care of earlier and that is all there is to it and that's form initialize there okay those items go straight into the combo box all right let's run it and you guys see how it all works run and let's try that out see now select cream and get rid of that there we go look at that you see that my man so I believe I've been able to take care of your request and thanks for this suggestion okay so with that man I'm gonna call it the end of this beautiful and brilliantly put together tutorial and uh, I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial and please do subscribe to my channel or you can always join to become a member of the channel and a lot of uh, benefit if you are a member and for my members thanks a lot for all your support we truly appreciate all your support so that is it my man I'm just gonna call it the end of this tutorial bye for now